Hey guys, Jonathan here, and I just got back from an awesome trip to Southern California where my good buddy Chris, aka Duck Bricks, and I headed over to Legoland California to hang out, check out the park, go to the Master Builder Model Shop at the back of the park, and attend the grand opening of Dino Valley. A huge shout out to Legoland California for the first class treatment and the warm welcome into the park. It was my first time going, so getting to check off that bucket list was super, super fun. Now that being said, we spent two days at the park. The first day was a lot of exploring and checking out the park. My first time, Chris has been there a million times, so he was a great tour guide in that respect. Then the second day was the official grand opening of Dino Valley. So let's start at the beginning and walk you through everything. So Chris and I had gotten to the park pretty early in the day, and as soon as we got there, we were starved and ready to eat. So we stopped by this really great pizza booth, and I was actually shocked at how good the pizza was, to be honest. Okay, so we barely got into the park, and we're both starving. So we went for the food. What'd you get, Chris? What'd you go with? Pepperoni pizza, first thing I saw. That sounds good to me, that's what I got too. And of course, had to get the souvenir cup. I'll never emotionally recover that Rex Danger Vest isn't on it, but I guess I see him in the mirror every day, so what's the difference? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> After that, we ended up just exploring the park for a bit. We ended up over in Miniland, which is a really cool thing that pretty much every LEGO park has, but all of the builds are exclusive and unique to each park. Here, they had all kinds of different landmarks from all over the world built in LEGO, all out in the open, exposed to the elements, but everything gets glued together. And speaking of which, we ended up getting to go into the model shop at the back of the park. This is where all of the models for LEGO Land are constructed, and they have master model builders back there working on projects literally every day of the year. Our master model builder that we got to work with was named PJ, and oh my gosh, was he awesome. He was so kind, and he was very gracious to walk us through the entire master model shop. And Chris, over on the Duck Bricks channel, is going to have a big, giant video. It's probably going to be like 25 minutes or more long of a challenge that he went through there. So I definitely encourage you to check out the Duck Bricks video on that. But in the meantime, it was super, super cool to go there, and we'll come back to that in just a bit because we got to go back and revisit on day two. Okay, so we just spent the last two hours in the model shop, <laughs> and the video is going to be on Chris's channel, but basically they let us do a challenge and build with every Lego element they had in there. Chris, what do you think, man? Was... Dude, I don't even know, man. I genuinely am speechless right now. Yeah. I, now, when you're watching this video, you're not going to have the full context of what we just got to do, so you have to watch Chris's video. But it is so beyond comprehension. We had literally every Lego element you could imagine. And, and then, then some. some. And again, you, you just have to see Chris's video. It's going to be bonkers. But that being said, just spent two hours there. It is time to get back to the park and check out the rest of Legoland California. So let's get it. After that, we ended up just exploring around the park for the afternoon. There's so much to see between all of the different themes and rides and, of course, all of the merch you can pick up. And at the end of this video, I'll show you everything that I bought. That evening, there was a press-only event for the opening of Dino Valley. It was kind of like a soft launch where they let us ride the rides try out some cool food, play some games. It was really awesome, especially to be in there where it wasn't like super, super crowded, like maybe on a Saturday or Sunday. It was really great and they just treated us first class. So we're here on the green carpet right now for the opening of Dino Valley in California. Are you excited? I'm as excited as those people are, so let's <laughs> check it out. Let's do it. Okay, so there's a Lego mystery prize box, but you gotta get all three blocks with one hit, so let's give it a go. Come on, don't, don't, don't disappoint me. Come on. Oh, no. That's okay. Still got two left. So we only got three. Yeah, you're going to have three tries. Now. Here we go. You got this. So you got this. Oh, my God. God. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, oh no. That had the oomph, but not the connection. So you want to get the accuracy. Here, here. <laughs> just be careful here. Just to counter. You got it. Oh, oh good try. Oh. But, uh, so what we could have won was we got a sticker pack, keychain, and a minifigure there. A CMF in here. from Series 22. Oh, yeah. Better luck next time. It's actually still a pretty cool prize. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right, that's it for the press party tonight for Dino Valley. One word, Chris. How would you rank it? Roarsome. 
or some. Is that a word? That's eh, what, that's, it that's is what now. they've been saying in the marketing. I'm okay, a, right. Hey, I'm doing my bit. I'm doing my job. I like it. I like it. We'll be back tomorrow for the official grand opening, so stick with us. Hey, everybody. Good morning. It is day two at Legoland California, and today is the official grand opening of Dino Valley. So can't wait to get in, check it out, and of course, bring you along. So let's get Then the next morning, we got up early and headed straight back to Legoland for the Dino Valley grand opening to the public. Now, they had a stage set up up front. They had the Legoland band performing in inflatable dinosaur costumes. It was absolutely epic, and they handled it so great. It was so much fun, and it was very immersive. So then as you walk through the park, everybody got to go back to Dino Valley and check it out for the first time, which was a lot of fun. After that, of course, I mentioned Chris and I got to go back to the master model shop at the back of the park and really got to explore looking through all of the parts. They have just about every Lego element you can imagine in just about every color you can imagine, which made it even more awesome to look around. You could get up on these step ladders to get all the way to the top and the view from up there rivals the Grand Canyon at least for us Lego builders. <laughs> but it was so much fun to get in there and explore and look around. And honestly, I cannot wait to do it again. They do offer a VIP tour of the entire park where you can go through that, but I'm very, very fortunate along with Duck Bricks to have been able to been invited and given a little bit extra access than the average person. And it was literally one of the most unforgettable Lego experiences I've ever had. And I really don't know if it can be topped. Being surrounded by all of those pieces in every color, every size variation you can imagine was a little bit overwhelming and very creatively stimulating because it definitely gets you excited to be around all that and think of all the crazy things you could build if only I had that many pieces here in my house. So as we bring the video to a close, I want to say a big thank you to Lisa at Legoland who organized everything. Huge congrats, Lisa, on opening Dino Valley. It was so much fun and such an honor to be there. I want to say a big shout out to PJ and the model shop and the whole team there for the warm welcome, as well as everybody at Legoland Marketing. And of course, my brother for life, Chris Duckbrand. Dude, it is always great hanging out. We've got more plans around the world coming up this year. So everybody stay tuned for that. And now, drum roll please, let's check out the hall. First thing I want to highlight is the Dino Valley exclusive hat. This was only given out on the opening day of Dino Valley. And of course, it's just a hat you can wear. It was very difficult to transport home because you can't really like crunch it. You can't really put it in your luggage or anything. So I literally had to carry this the entire way home, but worth it. Speaking of Dino Valley, they also gave away this very cool like little uh, fanny pack, I guess. it's You can see it's adjustable and all that. It's got Dino Valley Legoland California printed on it, which is nice. And then it opens up. There's all these zippers, but there's stuff inside, actually. So if we go to this back zipper, you can open it up and see that there's minifig inside. It's a Series 24 sealed minifig, so that's pretty cool. That would be awesome if it's the dinosaur guy. In fact, let's find out. Let's see if it's actually him. Oh my gosh, it's actually the dinosaur guy. I guess they probably have some way of determining if it's the dino guy or not, but literally, that's awesome. So next up, I finally got my Legoland California driver's license. You can see uh, they couldn't adjust the age, <laughs> and it really was difficult to get my whole mini superheroes today name on there, but... I remember reading about these driver's license you could get at Legoland when I was a kid, and I never got to go before this trip, so I'm very, very grateful that I got to get one now, and that is awesome. Over in the Lego Movie section, I picked up a couple of these Rex Danger Vest plushy keychains because, come on, how often is it that you go through life and you can buy a keychain that literally looks exactly like you? So that's pretty cool. Here, this is just the instructions because I did have to uh, take the bags out of the box, but this is the Lego Store exclusive set that they give away when you go to a Lego store that has just opened for the first time. So there's usually like a gift with purchase threshold, but at Legoland Park, you could buy it for 20 bucks, which is cheaper than BrickLink. Right now, the cheapest one in the US is 35 bucks. So that was a great deal, and I'm glad to have one of those I can build. Here we've got some gold coins, which are interesting. These came out of a vending machine in the Legoland Castle Hotel. You could see you could get a knight with a castle, and on the back it's got some fun facts about Legoland. Then we've also got a uh, pirate one here, as you could see. We've got a firefighter one. And there is an Explorer one. These are really nice metal coins. Very, very nice quality. And those were all four for 15 bucks, which I thought was cool. And then, of course, along the bottom, we've got these pop badges, which you could see here. 
And if you don't know, I actually didn't know much about these before getting them. These are little badges that you can pop out, as the name would suggest, and then you could clip them onto your shirt or a lanyard. And the idea at Legoland is to try and collect all of the different ones they have. So some employees there that Chris and I got to hang out with gifted various ones to us over the full trip. I do love the dinosaur one since that will be a great memento for, you know, the trip and a good reminder of that. But I also love the Tin Man one. That's very cool, too. So with that being said, going to bring this video to a close. Let me know your guys' favorite part. Stay tuned for more content with Legoland in the future. It was so fun to work with them, and I just got a feeling it won't be the last time. So stay tuned for more, and I'll see you guys on the next video.